Yo, what is up YouTube men? Today I'm gonna be showing you guys how to make the best six foot six two-way slashing shot creator on NBA 2K22 next gen. Real quick, if you guys are new, if you wanna drop me a like and subscribe, of course, I would appreciate it a ton. It helps me out a ton. Let's get right into this video. So as you guys can tell by the name, you know, you got two-way, you got slashing, you got shot created. This build is going to be a very all-around build. Depending on how you play, you can update the stats to fit your play style. And I'll give you guys some tips, some pointers for that as we go on. But for the height, 6'6", six, six, that is preference. You can go 6'5", 6'4", 6'3", 6'7". It doesn't matter weight. I'm going lowest because I want the most possible speed. If you want to have a bit more strength on your build and be more of a post score, you can do that as well. And the wingspan, 7'3", wingspan. Span. All you need is an 82 mid range to get the build name. If you want a higher three pointer or a higher mid range, you could lower the wingspan. Me personally, 85 mid range with an 83 pointer, 25 shooting badges. That is absolutely plenty. So I want the wingspan for the defense. And like I was saying, all you got to do to get the name have mid range above an 82 and a driving dunk above 90. You see, with the finishing, I'm putting the driving dunk to get all the contact dunks, all the driving contact dunks. I put my layup up to an 80. That gives me my choice of all the layup packages in the game. And then everything else standing dunk post control you can put up that if you want me personally i'm just trying to get contact dunks when i drive in with this build get some fancy layups so that's all i need shooting max it out three point mid range i want to be able to shoot as well as i can with this build with max wingspan the playmaking now ball handle speed with ball i put my pass accuracy to a 70 that gives me the silver bullet passer my ball handle i keep it at an 84 so i get the hyper drive gold now i could bring down speed with ball and I don't lose any badges really, but I want to have the highest speed with ball possible because I do want to be quick. I put up my speed acceleration all the way max, my vertical to an 80, stamina to a 99. Those things are very important. And now with the defense, I play around with it. The block is a 75. That gives me the rim protector silver. 78 steel gives me the gold interceptor. I'm not too worried about pickpocket because the on-ball steals have been heavily nerfed. Now at the perimeter defense, I put it at an 80. Now you could go higher, you may want it higher, but honestly, people have tested it and clamps on silver does just as well as clamps on Hall of Fame. So there's not really any reason to have it super high. Yes, it would help with contest. It gives you more speed when you're guarding the perimeter. But at the end of the day, defense in this game is not the best. People are going to be shooting over people, under people, mismatch experting people with 99 perimeter defense. So giving up a lot of things just to have that extra 19 perimeter defense isn't worth it in my eyes. That is up to you guys, though, if you want to adjust the stats, you absolutely can. You see the takeovers we get, slashing, shot creating, sharp, and lock. I'm going to go with slashing and shot creating just because this is a two-way slashing shot creator build, but really a great way to move around takeovers, you know, if you're playing as a spot up, if you're playing as a ball hitter, if you're playing as a lock, you can really do whatever you want with this build. It's very fun to be able to take a fading mid-range one play, go for a contact dunk the next play, shoot a limitless three with spot up takeover on the other play, and be able to play great defense, get rebounds, get blocks, get steals, do all of that against opponents, whether they're tall, even if you're matched up against a center you see we didn't upgrade interior defense it wasn't really worth it on a build like this you know that's good for post scores but with the steel with the block with pogo stick with the right defensive badges you'll still be able to handle even seven foot plus bigs in the paint as long as you just don't let them do layups over your head with the finishing badges limitless posterizer slithery finisher those are the core three you got two left things like fearless finisher acrobat you could put on putback boss and get some insane putback dunks i've seen some people do it they're actually really cool so I would honestly recommend doing that with the shooting. Now it's really going to depend how you play if you're playing twos, threes, rec, pro, and if you're more of a catch and shoot player or if you're somebody that has the ball in your hands all the time. Either way, I would definitely put on sniper, hot zone hunter, stop and pop. Let's say you're playing as the main ball handler. You're going to want that blinders dead eye green machine all good badges if you're playing twos i would put lucky seven as high as you can but if not i would at least have it on bronze it gives you a nice boost volume shooter is nice especially if you're playing with an inside big where you're taking all the shots and you would want things like catch and shoot and corner specials if you're spotting up limit the spot up on silver that just depends you're not going to want to have a mix match of those badges you're going to want to have the badges on that fit the play style you are playing with the playmaking badges bullet passer silver of course Hyperdrive and quick chain on gold isn't the most necessary thing in the world, but if you are handling the ball a lot, you may want the most speed possible, and those badges will give it to you. Unpluckable, silver, they did nerf pickpocket, but you still want that on. People are still going to be trying for plucks. Quick first step gold to be as fast as possible. Handles for days for the dribbling. There are all kinds of badges like ankle breaker, tight handles you may want to switch on, especially if you're playing something like the once court where you don't need all the passing badges. 
you can adjust it and put those on now the defensive badges definitely chase down definitely hustler on something you know pickpocket menace are okay badges but badges like rim protector some clamps on silver interceptor they're going to be more important interceptor gold is going to be huge if you're playing something like wreck 3v3 5v5 going for those lanes is going to be nice intimidator on silver rebound chase this build does have very solid rebounding for a six foot six build a lot of the other badges there are some good ones on bronze like box on bronze ball stripper on bronze you see i put tireless defender on bronze that is a huge badge you could adjust them if you want to save some badge points to have more defensive badges you could switch it around man let me know what you guys think of the build this is tonic i'll catch you guys in the next one i'm out peace